great. I got to tell you, that's what's the, oh, that's great. Let's hear it for Dana. That's great. We came in a good week because it's it's day two of our spring bonanza week. And today we're delving into stylish, inexpensive solutions for your backyard or deck, no matter what the size. But first, please welcome one of the most beautiful women in the world. She really is, and so lovely. Actress Lisa Ray. We were, we were very bright. Thank yeah. you. I was just saying, I just saw Lisa for the first time. We just met like minutes ago, and uh -huh. I said, I like your hair like that, too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's like a whole new style. Who would have thought? Yeah, we got to talk about what, what uh, so much that we need to talk about. But we're, we're, you're here to speak of something that you have gone through to share with other people. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, I'm calling it my uh, Triple M Tour. It's the Make Myeloma Matter Tour right now. Um, multiple myeloma, which I was diagnosed with in, uh, let me see, July of 2009. I'm, I'm a very forward-thinking person, so I have to sort of ch you know, check the data bank. Oh, yeah, when yeah. was that? I'm with you on that. Not that long ago. But um, it's, it's essentially a incurable blood cancer of the bone marrow. Sounds very scary. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. When yeah. you went, how did you find out? Like, when did you, were you not feeling well? What, what happened? Well, you know, the, the symptom, the most overriding symptom that I was dealing with is fatigue. Ladies, who wasn't tired? <laughs> right, yeah, right, right, and you know, I don't want to sort of have everyone rush off back to their physician, although that's not a bad thing, right? Like that was a, a part of my learning curve is listen to your body, don't mm -hmm. override your body signals. But I was, I was experiencing extreme fatigue, but then I had a lot of reasons to. I was, uh, you know, I travel around the world quite a bit. You know, it's a pretty punishing schedule, as you know, yeah. media, yeah. And, you know, shooting films and let's, doing let's fun go stuff back like a little that. bit. Oscar nominated Water, you were in that film, you know, mm -hmm. and is this after you were in that film that you got? Died this now? is after. Yes, yeah, yes. This yeah. is after when, you know, I was still, you know, kind of running really hard. Yeah. And uh, and, and that's what you tend to do in the business, right? right? right. As well, you know, you well, capitalize you the movie, on the waves, yeah, you know, things come right. to you in waves. Yeah. And you're expected to sort of, you know, jump on that wave and, and make the most of it. Right. So I was. I was working really hard. Right. I love my work. So, you know, it didn't it didn't feel punishing. But actually what ended up happening is that you, you because you're sitting on a set for 12, 14 hours, surprise, surprise, it's hard work. To make a movie, I know it doesn't look that way, but but you know it's 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 a lot of grunt work, right? Mm -hmm. So you tend to you you train yourself to, as I said, override your body signals, you right? When you're tired, you just kind of you. you have extra coffee. I think our, I think caffeine. Our, I think if, our brain thresholds a little bit. You know, we yeah. You override it. You find that res reserve, and you go. I can. No, I don't need this. I'm okay. Yeah, I can yeah. Go and, that's, yeah. and that's also part of the yeah. phenomenon of no. our contemporary society as yeah. well. You yeah. know, it certainly isn't just about my profession. It's 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 about the way that we push ourselves. Yes. Right. Right on. You know, yeah. we're we're meant to be these you know warriors and 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 you know and go out there and and take on the world at every mm -hmm. moment. But mm -hmm. you know, there there's a lot of value in some times sitting back That's and right. tuning in and listening to what your body is telling you and there's no other way unfortunately there's no other shortcut so there's then no what happens way. so you're you're doing your thing you're working really so hard so i'm doing my thing i was you know as i said i was i was uh, often i would notice it like after um when i would be filming yeah. especially after lunch my eyelids would just be like <sighs> And I, I, it was really hard to get up and go again. But I thought it was because I was eating too much rice. Okay. <laughs> you know yeah, what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I made up all these excuses. Okay, cut out the carbs. Yeah, and, yeah. No, that didn't work. Because you're crashing you know? from the carbs. All that stuff. Because you're crashing. You know, yeah, yeah. You just, uh, as I said, it just never occurred to me okay. that I would have a blood cancer of all things. So anyway, so I, I actually was in India um, on a yoga teacher training. And because we were doing two yoga classes a day, at the end of a yoga class, you take a position called Shavasana, which mm -hmm. ironically is called corpse pose. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hitting a little too close to home. <laughs> so, you know, that's where you just literally lie on your back supine. And, and I would lie there for an hour. I was, 
I w- was completely incapable of getting up off the floor. Oh, you're So cute. that was when I realized, finally I was confronted with the fact that something is really not kosher here. Something is wrong. And a friend of mine convinced me to go back to Toronto. Once I got back to Toronto, um, to, um, to finally go and get my, get my blood work checked. And this kind of thing that you have, mm-hmm. have, because you're in remission, right? That's right. You, I, still, usually, I, still, I still have it because officially it's, it's incurable. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's rare. It, it happens in older people, doesn't it? More than it does in younger people from what I read or no? Yeah. Yes? I'm yeah? a little bit of a freak. Okay. Okay. Way. And you, um, and you went public with, you know, with this during the Toronto Film Festival two years ago. So, so after this happened... Mm-hmm. And you went through all the things that you had to do. Why did you decide to come become very public about this? Well, it was it was just a combination of circumstances because um, after I was diagnosed, um, you know, I immediately started treatment. Yes. And I was in denial for some time. Yeah. Because um, you know, I, I had this really, you know, this kind of a, a great new protocol, which essentially wasn't actually taking a toll on me initially. So I just thought, you know, great, it's going to be like having, you know, maybe a bad case of pneumonia. Mm-hmm. I'll shake it off. Mm-hmm. You know, I continued functioning as, as you do, you know, juggling a lot of things. If anything, I took on even more because, as I said, I think I was very much in denial. So, so, right? so was, you took so on another still, movie? I, you I took, took on, on a movie. What I movies did you take on? What movies I was did you doing, take on? I was, well, no, I just finished Cooking with Stella. Okay. But I was taking meetings about right. other films. Right, right, right. And, um, and, you know, I was still running really hard. Yeah. And then finally, as I said, you know, there was this crunch moment where, uh, because part of my protocol was taking steroids, um, dexamethasone. Oh, new, new I used words to say, in your I used to say, yeah, I'm on Dex now. And the, the thing about Dex is that you just feel like you can conquer the world for those uh, four days that okay. you are on. You know, I had yeah. so much energy that I used to like wake up in the middle of the night and I'd look at my at my wall and I'd say, I don't like the color of that wall. I'm going to change it. And I would. It's I'd be it. up all night painting it like a maniac, and then go to sleep for about an hour, but, wake up, and forget I'd done it, and say, what the hell is that? But, but, like, did you, but, that? but it was not only that, I would guess, mm. but it's also your personality. Because if you're mm. given a package of energy, you... Lisa, she's we'll go for me. it. She's no, it's me true. It's it true. It's yeah. that's what you. That's how you. That's how you. There you, is. That's how and, you roll. And that yeah. was. And that was exactly yeah. again the wake up call that yeah. I needed. Yeah. Because uh, finally, what happened is uh, I was I was very bloated. I'd I'd put on about forty pounds from the steroids. Yeah. Uh, then I was invited to. Um, it, you know, it was actually quite a triumphant moment because my film Cooking with Stella was invited uh, for a gala presentation at yeah. the Toronto International Film Festival in 2009. Yeah. So, you know, the whole red carpet deal. Um, however, I had a really tough decision because either I could just hide and not uh, and not attend right. because it was really embarrassing. What do I say? How do I, yeah. how do yeah. I explain why I've suddenly put on 40 pounds and, mm-hmm. you know, I just don't look like myself at all? Or I could actually use that opportunity to go public. And that's, and, and that's actually what I ended up doing. Mm-hmm. And it, it actually, it, it added an entirely new dimension to my life. Because, uh-huh. because you know, what, what we end up doing as actors is mm-hmm. you, you are on these junkets really often, right? And mm-hmm. you're always promoting, uh, you're talking about a new project, a new film, what you're doing, what you're up to. Right. Right, right. And finally, and of course, these are important things to, you know, these are, these are projects that are close to my heart. But this is essentially probably the most important role of my life is to talk about about myeloma right now. And we're going to continue that discussion. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Coming up more with Lisa Ray. And later, Malcolm Patterson gives us a sneak peek at the latest outdoor furniture for your backyard. It's all part of our Spring Bonanza Week. Plus, tomorrow on the show, Alicia Cuthbert is here to tell us about her brand new show, Happy Endings. 